Hello everybody on YouTube, it's Roland Lover 2017 here at Guitar Center on a beautiful Hammond XB2. I know, it kind of looks like a Roland, doesn't it? Well, there are Roland keyboards here, but I'm actually going to show you the Hammond. It may not be a Roland, but it's still a pretty good synth, so here we go. Pitch and mod wheels. Your basic organ organ controls, and yes, the draw bars. Yeah, this is basically a digital version of a Hammond B3. So I'm gonna play a note, and I'm gonna pull each draw bar out. So here we go. Here's the first. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, we're almost there, eighth, ninth, all nine draw bars. Doesn't have the same uh, key feel as a traditional Hammond, but... One thing is for sure, the Leslie switch. It's a uh, it's like a button that you that you push. So I'm going to play a chord. You can tell it starts to get faster. It's basically just a Hammond that's been digitalized. Well, how about I run up and down the keys for you? Yes, 61 notes. I know I know it does look like a, like a roll-in synthesizer, I know. Now, I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do with this little Hammond B3, uh, XB2, sorry. So, leave these three draw bars out. Turn your rotary speed down. Okay, now, here we go. Yes, it's the percussion. Yes. It's like Jimmy Smith. Now, one thing about organs. This particular organ. Let me turn it up just so y'all can hear it. So, when you go to push a note. Hold on. I'll show you. So, this is the percussion. Now, if you want to play the percussion, it's the notes have to be detached. But if you play it, if you play it together, you don't get that uh, detach. You don't get that. That's you don't get another percussion sound. So it's pretty much almost monophonic. But if you pull out these draw bars right here, if you, I'll show you. I'll demonstrate for you. I'll show you. So, if you pull out these three, these first three draw bars, these draw bars. So, first, second, and third draw bar. You'll get Jamie Smith's signature organ sound that he used. So, now, what I was going to demonstrate. This. You don't hear percussion on the second note. So, pretty much, they have to be detached. Or, yeah, so, what you have to do is, in order to hear percussion, you have, the notes have to be detached. So, because if you play one note and play another with it, you don't hear any percussion. So that is one thing about Hammond organs. And like I said, the Leslie is pretty awesome. I'm going to turn off the percussion. Nope, what did I do? Okay, it's off. Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you another one of my favorite draw bar settings on this particular organ, on these organs. Okay, I'm going to show you another one of my draw bar settings. Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> you basically, okay, pull this draw bar out. Yeah, so you pull that one. 
that one and pull this one out. So you pull your first four draw bars out. And then you go over here and you pull this one out all the way. So basically the first four draw bars are pulled out all the way and this last one here is pulled out all the way. So you get this sound. It's really awesome. Now, if you add that with the rotary, the Leslie switch, sorry, it's gonna have to we have to aim a bit from the keyboard here a bit. Here we go. It actually sounds really cool, actually. And then there's also the the vibrato. Let me uh, turn that off. Now, this actually works really good with the percussion. Y'all heard that, didn't you? That's one of the things about percussion is you don't get another percussion time. So that is another one of my favorite draw bar settings. Now, another thing is I also like to pull out all the draw bars. Now, as you probably know, all the draw bars work. So here we go. I'm gonna play a I'm gonna play C3 right there, 16 foot. All nine draw bars. I know, it's really cool. I'm going to show you another really cool draw bar setting. Another good draw bar setting that you can do. So, pull this, pull this draw bar out. Okay, let me go up an octave higher. So, sorry, I am going to show you all the draw bars. So, here we go. So, you pull this draw bar out. I know it kind of looks like the knobs on my JDXI synthesizer, doesn't it? <laughs> so here we go. First knob, or draw bar actually. Second. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Try that again. So the first draw bar is out. Okay. Third draw bar. Fifth draw bar. Oh. No. Here. Let me do this without having to push the key because I don't want to. Okay, let me do it this way. So you pull the first draw bar out, second, okay, third draw bar, fourth draw bar, fifth draw bar, wait, okay, sixth draw bar, and then your ninth draw bar. Oh, turn that down a bit. This is actually a draw bar setting that you would use in church, particularly. Yeah, I know. It sounds really cool. Now, let me show another thing. About that one organ sound that uses the percussion. Like that. You turn on percussion. It actually sounds like the sound that my JDXI has. Yeah. So there's a common between Hammond and a Roland. As you probably know, yeah, my this channel also deals with a lot of synthesizer stuff. I know I have other channels that I do too. But I forgot to show you all this one. On Roland Lover 2017, instead of coin operated rides and fidget spinners 2000, which I know you can also fidget, fidget with the draw bars. Yeah, I'll do a video on this on coin operated rides and fidget spinners 2000 if I ever come back. But, anyways, I thought I'd show you all this really cool Hammond XB2. I'm gonna give you all an overview of it. Sorry, there's a lot of keyboards here. It's a beautiful keyboard, keyboard actually. So, that is my demonstration of how 
a Hammond organ works and how to set the draw bars. So thanks for watching on Roland Lover 2017.